So how I started doing cakes, uh, it was by accident, really. <laughs> it wasn't anything planned. If you would have asked me, you know, when I first started, did I imagine it coming to this? My answer probably would have been no. My background is network engineering, and that's what I was working in. I was working in my field of study and technology uh, before I started doing this. And I just started for close family members and friends, and it just grew by word of mouth. And then it got to a point where I had to kind of make a decision which way I wanted to go, if I wanted to do cakes or if I wanted to stay in the field of technology. And as being a new mother at the time, cakes really allowed me to be able to be more present for my kids. So I started baking as a registered home baker in the city of Alabaster. And I did that, it would have been seven years this year. We opened our brick and mortar about three months ago. The process started like December of 2019. We originally started just looking, once my youngest went to school, we started looking, trying to pursue whether or not, you know, if we wanted to expand the business or not. And so we just started looking in different areas and I say nothing happens by accident, real honestly, it really doesn't happen by accident. You know, we think that we have plans for ourselves, but you know, there's things that just happened that just fell into place for us. And we stumbled across Calera, and I mean, we couldn't be happier. It was just like the community out of all the areas that we looked, Calera was just, it was just it. It was community, which is the biggest thing. So the different products that we offer, we offer um, a variety of flavor cupcakes daily. You know, we change up the flavors daily. Um, right now we have a coconut uh, tres leche cupcake that we're super excited about. Um, we offer ice cream, we have fresh baked cinnamon rolls daily, uh, we have pound cake fresh daily, brownies, cookies, chocolate chip, peanut butter, then we have cheesecakes, a little bit of everything. Well, you know, I think this is a community that, like during our build out process, I can't tell you how many residents, mm -hmm. lifetime residents that have come in and like they are just so excited about what's going on here. You know, they've been wanting their, I think they're really motivated to try to progress the area. Uh, and they're happy about seeing new businesses come in. And so I've heard like so many stories, like when they were children, you know, they haven't seen anything go on here in such a long time. And I just think that the community is so super excited about it. So to see us come in and, you know, other merchants along with us, I just think that, um, you know, it's just really good for the community. And I just think they're excited about it. To open in the midst of a pandemic, it takes faith. <laughs> it takes faith to do it. Um, I can't give that credit to anyone else. I'm sure there were definitely times, you know, you start to think like, oh, should I pause, you know, for a little bit. But, you know, when things just line up and they fall into place, you know, you know, you just keep pushing forward. You know, you don't stop. You just keep looking forward. So instead of us focusing and marinating on actually what's happening right now, we just decided to look ahead and know that this will only last for a season.